Uh, what makes it difficult to remember this is that it doesn't happen every time. But remember, first thing, look at all the terms and see if there's anything in common that they can be factored out from everybody. So I definitely see some W's that they have in common. They all have W's. Well, this one is the smallest, right? It has the fewest, fewest W's, but it only has two. Oh, no, I'm talking about like three. Oh, three. Uh, the yeah. three, yes. Yeah. Okay, so we can back to this. We or divide this by 3W squared, leaves us with. 1W squared. Yeah. You feel like you're not very good at going backwards. Like, well, I don't know, maybe that's forwards. If you want to make sure that you get this correct, just distribute this back to W squared and make sure you get 3W done for and eight plus eight W plus eight W to the yeah plus I believe it's sixteen yeah W no no okay I get you W got it so now we can't really make this go away but we can ignore it because we don't need to even think about it as we factor what's in the parentheses here. In those parentheses, not a very difficult thing to factor because the leading coefficient is one. So I know I can just start out some parentheses, w in each one of those. I know that w times w will give me w squared. This number times this number needs to give me 16, while adding together to give me eight. It doesn't take long to figure out it's four and four. Four times four is 16, four plus four is eight. Long way of double checking, we just multiply these together. W times W is W squared. W times 4 is 4W. Four get another 4W, that's 8W when you add it together. And 4 times 4 is 16. Can I explain this? Let me go write this as 3W squared times W plus 4 squared, because it's a W plus 4 times another W to plus 4, and that's what squared means. Thank you, George. Do we have to write it like that? No. Okay. You can do it like this. I just set that to this. <coughs> what is it? I was just out. I mean, just a little bit. Yeah, I mean, minus 3m squared uh, equals 4m minus 12. Okay, first things first, we got to find, uh, well, we got to get a 0 on the other side. So we've got uh, to subtract 4m from this side, so we get a 0 there. Add 12, so that we get a 0. We get 0 plus 0, and the only 0 is on the right side. We'll subtract 4m and add 12 to the other side as well. If there's any light terms here, I combine them, but there aren't. And now that we've got 0 on one of those sides, we're going to factor the left side. Uh, I'd like to see if there's anything in common that they all have. Uh, this doesn't have much, just a bunch of m's here. So you might be able to factor out an M. Well, that has an M, that has, that has no M. So you can't factor out an M. Uh, this, this leading term here doesn't have anything other than a 1, because it's coefficient. So we're not going to factor anything else out. So no common factors among all four. <coughs> but as we learned last time, that there's four terms. And when there's four terms, we're going to try what kind of factor. down in your notes, it gave you those steps to follow, like finding something in common, and then look at the number of factors. There's four of them once you see four in there. Four step distribution, something like that. No. Well, we're trying to figure out how to factor. Factoring with which? Oh, distribution? No. Sort of, but like undistribution. I said this last time. I feel like I should know it. Start with a G. Yeah. 
terms, this one and this one, both have m minus 3 factors. So we factor out m minus 3, we're left with m squared minus 4, equals 0. This guy here is a difference of squares, so it can be factored even further, m plus 2 times m minus 2. So we've got it factored as much as it can be factored. And what we see is one, two, three factors. Something times something times something is zero. And even when we multiply three numbers together, we know that one of those numbers has to be what? If I multiply three numbers together, this one, this one, and this one, I get zero. One of them had to be zero. There's no way I can multiply like seven by eight by 12. Is there one of the multiple, one of the factors has to be zero. So we say that with these three equations. Either that's zero, or that's zero, or that's zero. Add three on both sides, you get m is three. Subtract two on both sides, you get m is negative two. Add two on both sides, you get m is two. Just leave it like that. m is three, m is negative two, m is two, these are all valid. You can say m is three, comma, plus or minus two as well. Comma is just saying it's, there's a list of numbers here that are solutions, and plus or minus means positive two and negative two both work in this equation. And what that's telling me, what I've figured out after all that is, like if I plug a, a two into every m in this equation, both sides will come out the same. I don't get a eight minus, this would be a two times two, is four times three is minus 12. Two there, you get eight. Four times two is eight minus 12. And eight minus 12 certainly is equal to eight minus 12. And for both negative four. It'll work if I plug in a negative two, it'll work if I plug in a three. That's what I figured out with this last line here. Did you have a general question? Mm -hmm. no. Any other questions that we decided that we should have asked Beginning and wish we had asked. Okay. Um, then this being the conclusion of uh, this section on factory, we'll have a quest next class. So today we'll have ample time to review. Make sure you use this review time the best that you can. Uh, ask questions. Uh, like crazy. Do you have any questions at all?